What if you could have the same username on every website? And no, I'm not talking about picking the same username on each site you sign up for. What if you could use a digital asset, like a domain name, as your username? This concept is already a reality on some social platforms today. So in this video, I'll explain what it means to use a domain as a username, what websites support it right now, and how you can prepare for this shift in the social space. I'll even show you how to get a social media ready domain free for the first year. But first, let's back up and understand why you'd want to use a domain name as a username to begin with. Owning your digital identity is important. I was recently reminded of this when Koji, my link and bio platform of choice, abruptly shut down. I used my Koji link on business cards with a QR code, and as a result, I had to throw out hundreds of business cards. This got me thinking that I should have linked the QR code to a domain that I control, and that's exactly what I did for my next business cards. The more you can own your identity, data, and audience, audience as a creator or business owner, the more self-reliant you can be. Now, there's not a lot you can control on social platforms. If a platform suspends your account, you're out of luck. If you go to sign up for a new platform and your normal username is already taken, you're out of luck. Or are you? That's where using a domain as a username comes in. This means instead of using at trailer on a platform, I could use a domain like at trailer.link. And this doesn't mean you just entered your domain name in the username field of a website. You certainly can do this, but sites that officially support domains as usernames require you to verify domain ownership to claim the username. This gives you two huge advantages. First, you're protected from someone else getting your username on a new platform before you get around to creating an account. We've all been there. You sign up for a new social platform and go to claim your typical username only to find out that someone else beat you to it. With domain usernames, someone else can't claim your username because they don't own your domain name. The second advantage is that users of the platform can feel confident your account is legitimate. There's no longer a need for a blue verification badge because if someone knows your domain name, they know that any content coming from that account is really you. It's also a powerful branding move. If you use a domain as a username, you're reminding users where they can go to find you directly. And if your account ever gets suspended or a platform gets shut down, users have a better chance of remembering where to find you. And speaking of reminding people where to find you, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing and clicking the bell will ensure that you never miss a new video. One of the first platforms to natively support domains as usernames is Blue Sky. If you haven't heard of Blue Sky, it's an open source decentralized social platform similar to X. Since it's decentralized, Blue Sky lets you build custom feeds based on parameters that you set and gives you full control over your experience. Blue Sky uses the AT protocol. This this protocol has several advantages, but one of them is the ability to have a portable account and change hosts at any time without losing your content, followers, or identity. This is possible because you use your domain name as your username, and all servers that use the AT protocol require you to verify your domain via DNS to set it as your username. This prevents conflicts across servers and ensures that only you can reserve your username. To set a domain as your username on Blue Sky, just log in and head over to the settings screen. Scroll down to advanced and click change handle. Here you can click I have my own domain and receive the DNS record required to verify your domain name. Once you verify the DNS, your username is officially set to your domain name. Right now, Blue Sky is the main platform supporting domain usernames with their AT protocol, but I think we'll see more platforms adopt this concept in the coming years. This is already possible on Mastodon with some modifications, and as more social platforms realize that users value data ownership, I think they'll begin to embrace the concept of domain usernames. Users want choice. If they're going to trust a platform with their data, they want to know it will be easy to switch platforms in the future if desired. As we're entering a new era of creators and business owners building email lists, launching podcasts, and utilizing mediums that give them control over their brand and data, social sites will have to adapt. That's why I've invested heavily in domains for my brand, and I recently added Krayler.link to my portfolio. Portfolio. I got Krayler.link for my new link and bio page after the platform I was using abruptly shut down and my link disappeared with it. Now that I'm using Krayler.link, I don't have to worry about a link and bio platform shutting down ever again. 
I can just connect it to whatever platform I want to use. It's increasingly important to have ownership of your online identity. And one platform driving this idea forward is Gravatar. You may be familiar with Gravatar as the website where you upload your profile picture and add all your email addresses, and then other websites you sign up for pull your profile picture from Gravatar. If you've used sites like ChatGPT, Slack, GitHub, and Trello, and wondered how they magically get your profile picture, they're pulling it from Gravatar. Gravatar has been around since 2007, and they're now entering a new chapter with some powerful features. They've added a new profile editor, so Gravatar could be your digital business card or LinkedIn bio page. You can add links, contact info, photos, and social accounts. But what sets Gravatar apart is the ability to verify your social accounts by signing in. This lets visitors know that you are who you say you are. I only have these check marks next to my social accounts because I've signed in and authenticated them. I got to meet the head of Gravatar at an event last month and get a preview of where things are heading. And Gravatar is expanding on the idea of owning your digital identity. They launched an interest section where you can enter a list of things you enjoy. You can choose to share these interests publicly. And if you do, sites can pull your interest when you sign up for an account, just like they pull your profile picture. Imagine signing up for a new social platform and having it already understand what you want to see in your feed. And later this year, Gravatar is launching a social graph that can back up your social followers and be a bridge between social networks. In other words, Gravatar is making it easier to own your data and move freely between platforms. Gravatar is doing some cool things, and they've just launched support for custom.link domains. So instead of viewing your profile on gravatar.com, you could claim a .link domain and host it there. Gravatar is offering a free .link domain for the first year, and it just took me a few clicks to claim mine. I didn't have to do any technical setup. I just picked the domain name and it was automatically set up. And there's no strings attached here. Gravatar is completely free to use and they're offering a free .link domain for the first year. Now I can access my Gravatar profile on christiantaylor.link and I'm really excited about where Gravatar is heading. This video is sponsored by .link in partnership with Gravatar. So be sure to check out Gravatar and claim your free .link domain for your profile. And yes, you can use your .link domain as your username on on Blue Sky and other supported websites. Okay, so this concept of owning your digital identity and using your domain as a username sounds cool, but it's still in the early stages. Blue Sky is one of few social networks currently supporting domains as usernames. So what can you do now to prepare for this going mainstream? Well, as simple as it is, I'd recommend buying a few domain names if you don't already have some. As we saw with Twitter's sudden acquisition, social platforms can shift and change quickly. And if you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, you need to have a central place where your audience can find you. And no matter what method you use to own your audience, it all starts with a domain name. Even if you don't use Blue Sky, signing up for Gravatar and claiming your free .link domain is a good starting point. You can verify your social accounts and give people somewhere to go to see what you're up to. And once you have your free .link domain, check out my video on five things to know after getting a domain name here.